What's up guys, welcome back to an episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to lock your memory on Caspa to get you, I don't know, maybe five, 10, 20, 30 mega hash, and also possibly drop your power down. Uh, I was able to increase my overall hash rate on my farm from about 12.6 giga hash to 13.8 giga hash, using the exact same power so let me show you guys what i did let's take a look at the farm real quick um, right now i don't have all my rigs running uh, naboo is sitting right right next to me and uh, it consists of three thirty eighties and three thirty seventies all founders editions but i have basically everything off right now i'd love to keep you know mining caspa but it's cheaper for me to buy it than it is to mine it right now so I'm just dollar cost averaging a little bit anyway so uh, I got this information from a lot of helpful people uh, one of those being Romero on discord on the BZ miner discord uh, also shout out to IE doc this guy uh, I believe he's a developer of BZ miner he is phenomenal super helpful guys please keep in mind these are these are people just like you and me they eat they sleep they have things to do but when they're there they're absolutely amazing uh, highly recommend you checking it out if you're into caspa uh, they can help you with a lot of stuff and bz miner so far has been a pretty good miner for me so anyway moving on uh, so this command right here is what we're going to copy and we are going to paste it into the hive shell uh, let's do it on Alderaan first, which is a 3070 Ti rig, all Founders editions. Looks like we're sitting at about 638 mega hash down to 629 at 214 watts with running 200 core, negative 2000 on the memory, power limit set to 215. Keep all those numbers in mind because those will change after we finish this. So we're going to pull up the hive shell. And then we are going to right click, copy from browser, right click again, paste. Oh, actually, wrong command. That command actually is to reverse your locked memory. Uh, but let me, let me copy this real quick. Sorry. Oops. All right, I think we got it. Go back over here, right click, paste from browser. Let's see if we got the whole thing. Yep. Okay, so now just want to hit enter. And we just set all of the memory clocks locked to 810. So we go back to our rig. We're going to, eh, maybe about a minute or two it'll take. Sometimes it's a little bit faster. Uh, let's hit the refresh. Uh, hadn't really increased much yet. Our power did go down a few watts on some of these. So yeah, there we go, jumping up now, 653 to 646, and mm, still dropping a couple of watts, but as you can see, using about the same power, we have increased our hash rate. We'll give that a second to lock in and we'll go ahead and update our other rig Tatooine. Now this one is a mixed rig so locked memory only works on Nvidia cards with this particular command. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the 23060 Ti's coming in at 497 and 496. 3070 coming in at 570. All three of those using 150 watts with the same overclocks. 3080 Ti at 956 and 264 watts. 2000 core, negative 2000 memory, power limit set to 265, and then our last NVIDIA card, 647 mega hash on a 3070 Ti at 214 watts. Same overclocks as those others. So let's go into our hive shell and let's paste this command. And we have just set those. 
let's go back to our 3070 Ti rig and see what we got now. Awesome, getting up to the 660s here. Uh, power is still pretty close to the same, but yeah, um, a significant increase from 638 mega hash to 660, and you multiply that times six cards. Uh, yeah, a pretty pretty significant increase at the same power, uh, if not just slightly less power. Let's go back to our other rig. All right, sitting at 502, 577, 990, 654. And we did drop about 15 watts on this 3070 Ti and about 4 watts or 3 watts on this 3080 Ti. Power still the same on our 3070s and 3060 Ti's. There we go. A little bit more up to 583 from 570 and up to 660 from 647. Uh, and then we dropped a watt on each of those. And look at this. 1.021 giga hash now on the 3080 Ti. So yeah, you got a rig full of those and you're doing quite well. Um, I haven't seen many people getting over a giga hash on a 3080 Ti. So for whatever reason, if you, if you power off your rig, just remember that you do need to paste that command again back in the hive shell. Uh, otherwise it reverts back, or at least it did in my case. And if for some reason you need to remove that, uh, in the, if you'll just rewind to the beginning of this video, you will see that. And I will also paste it down in the description below. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit that like, hit the subscribe. I'll get you more.